So, you finished recording your song, and now you want to know, how do you release it and get it out there? There's a few different ways to go about doing this, and there's a lot of different platforms for you to put it on with all the digital platforms out there today. But before you just go releasing it, you want to make sure that you have ownership of your product completely and that no one can try and scam you out of your money. You're going to want to go to BMI or ASCAP, both of which are performing rights organizations where you can register as an artist and they will make sure you get your money. All right, so here we have the ASCAP website. Uh, you want to click on Music Creator. If you write, compose, or publish music, which you would be doing all three for yourself, then you want to click on Join Now. From here, we'll start off with joining as a writer. You'll have to join as both separately, but it's the same information on both sides. And you want to enter your name, your artist name, your email address, you'll have to add your personal information, such as when you were born, if you're a citizen, your social security, and a mailing address. And after that, you'll have to enter in your ownership information, as if whether you own 100% of it, uh, if some of the money has to go to a co-writer or whatever, and then your payment information, and that is how you'll receive your payment. You'll enter in your bank account. Most of this is handled through direct deposit, or you can get it set up to be mailed a check. Once you've registered with ASCAP, you also want to head over to Sound Scan and Sound Exchange. This is just another way for you to make sure that you're tracking your song and its airplay and purchases so you get paid the proper amount. So, this is a Sound Exchange website. You'll want to go ahead and register, and then you'll pretty much just enter the same information as you did with your ASCAP registration. So, what are you registering as? A performer, a copyright owner, or both? You'll be doing both since you sung the song and you did the recording, and you're also going to be the one publishing the track. Provide your contact information, and we'll just leave this as it is. And then with sound scan, same thing all over again for the third time around. And so you have your your name, your artist info, your label, your distribution, and then one thing it'll ask you for is your UPC and your EAN, this is something you'll get once you register your song with a distribution company. So let's go ahead and check out your distribution. You can either go with CD Baby. There's also TuneCore. And me personally, I went with Distro Kid. All right, so we have your three different options, Distro Kid, TuneCore and CD Baby. We're gonna go ahead and check out the pricing for CD Baby. So for a standard single, it'd be 10 bucks to get that place into digital distribution. It'll be $50 for the whole album. And if you wanna go with Pro, it'll be $34.95 per single and $90 for the album. The differences between the two is with Pro, They'll register your music for you with ASCAP and BMI and along with Sound Scan and Sound Exchange. But I don't really see the point in paying them more money to do that when it's something you can do yourself for free. So it's very feasible that you choose the CD Baby standard because you'll still get digital distribution, worldwide CD distribution, which is copies of physical products. You'll be able to sell music on CDBaby.com monetize your YouTube, and they'll even push for syncing and licensing for TV, film, and games. Now, if you go with TuneCore, the pricing is just a little different. So for a single album, it'll be $30 for the year. 
at first and then it'll be fifty dollars afterward so they make it seem cheaper at first but it really averages out to be about the same the one thing with this company is you also have the option to make your track a ringtone which is actually kind of cool they also will handle your publishing and uh, licensing for you for a $75 fee but like I said you can do all that yourself for free so it's a bit unnecessary that's the reason I went with DistroKid DistroKid is a cheaper than both of them it's $20 and you're able to upload unlimited amounts of music for the whole year only difference is they only contact the top 150 stores and that's pretty much it you've learned how to find a beat you learned what equipment you need to record your song, and now you learned how to license it and release it. 